The video I put together today is a highlight reel of my first day with the CO2 Galvo. After completing the core file setup of the lens calibration, proceeded to burn the Iron Man coin that has been floating around. It's a very intricate design based on the Aztec calendar design theme. It handled it very well. The results speak for themselves. Outstanding detail on a piece of black poster board. And now what you're going to see are the specs for the CO2 Galvo. I'm not going to read them. You can pause and take notes if you wish. Then we're going to see the comparison of the CO2 laser source and tower versus the fiber laser source and tower. And you can see there's a big difference. I did some deep engraving on birch plywood. It turned out very well. And it's fairly forgiving, uh, the CO2 Galvo as far as testing settings. So next I moved on to some JDS leatherette. With the fiber it can be tricky. It, it tends to burn easily. The CO2 it will burn um, but playing around a little bit ended up getting very clear concise results. As you can see here I'm set up to run a tumbler. This tumbler ended up running in about one minute 15 seconds and this is just with initial testing upon further testing later in the week after this video was filmed I was able to get that time down to less than a minute so I definitely have less than a minute of time into tumbler engraving at this point just use the standard process of some LA awesome and a magic eraser and clean that powder coat residue right off the right off of the cup my shiny result all the details are clear the lines are nice timing is on and there's a side-by-side -side comparison of the just the two sides of the logo so now we're going to move on to some bamboo we know bamboo can be a pain with the different uh, layers glued together so we're going to run normal speed for a little bit and then I'm going to fast forward through the rest of the engraving but I ran this in three different layers. There's uh, the first engrave, then a darker engrave for part of the image, and then a line. So we'll be able to see all three parts. And you can see the darker area coming in here. And it maintains a very consistent color throughout all the different layers of bamboo. What's most impressive is the line. It just really highlights that design. I like this design so well. I kept with the three layer theme and tried to get three different colors on a piece of slate. For the first guess at settings, I was very happy with the three colors that I was able to achieve. The tan, the gray, and the white. And again, the line at the end really sets it off. And there's some slow-mo action for you. There we have it. Three colors on slate. First day with the CO2. So I kept with the same graphic again. This time we move on to cork. And again, we're going to have a three-layer engrave the first layer the second darker and then the third is the line so here's a shot of glass etching this was in progress and then this is real time of the etching of the underside of this trivet it's textured on the top and smooth on the bottom and that's the end result and that was just uh, educated guess at settings again for the glass trivet and it turned out great and i now invite you to join me in exploring the wormhole that is the co2 galvo laser and thank you for watching please like and subscribe and check out the facebook and discord links are in the description have a great day folks